Welcome back to the Pet Hui. Now let's catch up with Claude and Colton Farms. So we're gonna load up 30 goats and sheep into one trailer. It's tricky, it's hard. Bah! Bah! Let's go, I want that baby. Let's go, close it, let's go, faster. Bah! Come on, faster, faster. You're tying too much, you. Come on, lock it in, let's go. It is stressful, it's crazy. Um, I like to do it on my own. Tie it to the bottom. Because when I trust somebody to do something, usually it um, fumbles. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna push the whole herd in. The spooky part, what I'm stressing about is they can break free and my whole herd runs loose. They tangle into each other. So we're gonna try to do this as fast as we can. Okay, everybody ready? Back off, let them come. Get behind there. Ba! Let's go, push, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. Push. Let's go, let's go. Up. Come on, everybody. Up. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Up. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, hey. Once we shut the, the gate, virtually nothing can really go wrong. Now look what we did. Get over there and grab it. Come on. Let's go. Move. Let's go. But up until we shut that gate, I mean, everything can go haywire. Okay, shut the door. Yeah. Oh, can't do it. Oh, they're texting me now, calling me. Oh, I can't cut the grass. With no time to cut the lawn at his parents' house, Claude takes the load of 30 goats and makes another trip to the petting zoo at the fair. Another successful run. And now the goats have joined the chickens and the roosters and the llamas and the alpacas and sheep and all the other animals. Okay, so we got all the birds down at the fair. We got all the sheep and goats. We got all the llamas, alpacas, donkeys, all of those guys all ready, set in place. The high stress is moving the big beasts, the big cows. Um, this year we have a new baby calf. That's gonna be a good show. Donna's waiting to see her. So um, that's gonna be the last move of the day. So we have some pretty neat animals here already and looking forward to when you get all the rest of them in. But as we got to the farm, I noticed that we're missing our prized calf. Oh man, this is a big farm and we're trying our best to um, track her down. We're gonna have you probably, we go walk up, you go right, I'll go kind of left. Yeah. And then we just do a figure eight yeah. and we just come back, but shake a tree or something to let me know if you see her. I mean, I hope the pigs didn't get her. That's what I'm worried about. So high stress now. Plus I, I feel for this lost calf. I'm. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, and my um, calf instincts say that this calf is bedded down somewhere. She's just a newborn little calf, so she's just sleeping. This is the mama cow that lost the calf. So she seems a little depressed. See that girl? We do have wild pigs here on the farm. They could have got her. The mom broke out of her pen, and it looked like they was kind of fighting, but I'm all bummed. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I, I need to find a calf for one. Second, I need to find her for the show. So this calf is a very rare breed, a Scottish Highlander. Only ones in Hawaii. I actually kind of sold the 50th State Fair that I'm gonna present them with this prized calf. So it really, I think, solidified the deal. So yeah, in the contract, it states that I bring this calf. If I don't, if I have a feeling that she's not gonna bring me back next year. You know, I watch these animals come in every day, and, and I do have a contract with Colton Farms as to the kinds of animals that they're supposed to bring in. Breach of contract? She might not even pay me. I, I knew that he had a Scottish Highlander cow, and it was very important to me, and so that was in our contract. 
that he bring that cap, but I haven't seen it yet. Stay tuned to find out if Claude can find the lost cap and make it on time to the state fair.